everyone. Today our topic is Newton Laws of Motion In classical mechanics, Newton laws describe the relation between motion of object and force acting on it. Now we discuss Newton first law of motion. Newton first law states that a body continuous its state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line provide no external force acts on it. For example, a moving object does not stop moving by itself. A ball rolled on a rough surface stops earlier than that of rolled on a smooth ground. It is because rough surface offer greater friction. If there is no force to oppose the motion of body, the moving ball will never stop. First law of motion is also known as law of inertia. Inertia Inertia of the body is its property, due to which it resists any change in its state of rest or motion. Newton's second law of motion. When a net force act on a body, it produces acceleration on the body in the direction of applied force. The magnitude of acceleration is directly proportional to the net force acting on the body and inversely proportional to its mass. Mathematically, acceleration A is directly proportional to applied force F. A is inversely proportional to its mass. Combining above equations, A is proportional to F by M. F is proportional to product of M and A. F is equal to K. M and A. Where K is the constant of proportionality. Its value is 1. F is equal to MA. Its unit is Newton. 1 Newton is defined as. 1 Newton is the force that produces an acceleration of 1 meter per second square of mass 1 kilogram. Newton Third Law of Motion For every action there is always equal but opposite reaction. Take an air-filled balloon, when the balloon is set free. The air inside balloon rush out and balloon move forward. In this example the action is by the balloon that pushes the air out of it when set free. The reaction of the air which escapes out from the balloon acts on the balloon. It is due to this reaction of escaping air that move the balloon forward direction. Thanks for watching us.